Hey trainers, Ali and Kaysom. Do you have that client who's looking for that strong shoulder health? I know that I do, and I know that Kaysom would like to work those shoulders a little bit more. So this move in particular is that protraction and retraction of the scapula. Come on, let's go see it. All right, this move is a scapular protraction and retraction. We are actually going to be using the Slastics and we have stacked both of them and we have it clipped in at that high anchor point or a somewhat high mid anchor point, I guess you could say. So right here at this chest level. So Kaysen's gonna face away from the anchor and then go ahead and set up. We're gonna work that serratus anterior, that muscle group that tends to not be hit very often at the gym. Go ahead and press those arms forward. So the serratus anterior runs right here underneath the rib cage and around the scapula. So what Kaysen's gonna do is he's gonna allow the slastics to pull him back, not letting the upper trap engage just like he did, and then press it forward using that serratus anterior. With this move, you really wanna watch to make sure that your client doesn't shrug. So go ahead and shrug for me so they can see what that looks like. Yep, you wanna make sure to keep that down. <clears throat> Another move you could do um, with this, if you don't have any slastics, would be that of a scapula push-up. All right, so what Kaysom's gonna do for that scapula push-up, he's gonna drop down into that push-up position. Core nice and tight, shoulders right over the top of the hands, feet together. Um, this particular move, you want that and our serratus anterior to be engaging because we want that scapula flat against the back. We don't want to see that wing, so I'm going to have Kaysom try to wing if he can. Ah, uh, no, maybe he can't, there we go. Well, slightly, there's a slight <laughs> wing. So you want to watch for that wing so your client isn't doing that. So go ahead, allow protraction and retraction, dropping in or moving in a forward motion and an upward motion down. Good, really working through here, making sure that it's engaged. Sometimes I'll tap um, my client's back just to make sure I can feel it engage. Good, have them perform this up to 10 times, maybe 15 times, really working that um, straightest anterior. All right team, so go ahead, try that out on some of your clients who are looking for that shoulder health. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe, or comment below, and we will see you next week.